Hello, welcome to Glorious Miniatures, folks. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out my website. Just really quickly, this is my website. We've got blog posts, there are videos, we've got a newsletter to sign up for. I will link this in the top comment. If you sign up to this, you will get a monthly email with a roundup of my latest blog posts, probably my, my top three videos of the month and any other news which are pertinent to either my blog or YouTube or anything else, sort of social media, etc. And hopefully at some point also entries into any competitions or giveaways that I have, it will be done via the newsletter. So do make sure you're signed up for it. You'll not be spammed, I promise. But without further ado, let's check out the LVO 2023 war cry reveal here we go lvo 2023 monastic vampires and fleshhound aficionados tear into war cry not every war band that ventures into the nullwood does so to scavenge for artifacts in the ravening ruin of talaxis some simply make a pilgrimage there to test their combat skills slaughter powerful new foes and shed gallons of lovely blood Warcry Blood Hunt pits two bloodthirsty new warbands against each other in a spectacular explosion of claret. Alongside new Gurish terrain, this box set introduced two new warbands, the Asgurgan True Blades and the Claws of Karanak. Here we go, we've got a bit of a glimpse here. We've got some scenery as well. Nice new looking minis. Now, as I understand it, you can use these warbands or at least some of the Warcry Warbands in your Slaves to Darkness army. Is that still correct? I hope so, because I've still got some Warcry Warbands from like the original Warcry that came out that I've never used, and I do have some Slaves to Darkness. Anyway, let me know in the comments below. So, the Asgurgan Trueblades are our first look at Undead from the Realm of Gur. The Soul Blight Curse afflicts this order of warrior monks just like any other vampire, but in order to sate their thirst, they hunt the great beasts of the realms, gorging themselves on primal energies and attempt not to succumb to their bestial tendencies. Now, now, I must say, the current range of vampires for Age of Sigma does not really appeal. Just having a quick glance at this picture right here, these do appeal. Kind of a lot, in fact. Just seeing this one here really appeals. I really like these, the opportunity to paint flesh. I really can't really uh, refuse that ever, so quite sure what this werewolf kind of thing is whatever but i like i like this style they got the sort of thigh armor or whatever it is shoulder pads got the fabulous hair going on you got the sickle and hook or whatever the weapon this is i forget i'm terrible with weapons as is other weapon here <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must say I really like this character right here. If there's a chance, I probably could imagine just getting this warband on its own and being very happy with that. So not even necessarily to play Warcry. I don't know if I'd be able to add this to Slaves to Darkness, but this alone I'm very tempted by. Scroll down. Opposing them are the Claws of Karanak, mortals who worship the demonic flesh hounds of corn. These savage warriors have abandoned the last vestiges of civilization, even loping into battle on all fours. All right, so double axe action, armor, very nice. This kind of reminds me of Lizardmen. I know it's supposed to probably look like the, the dogs, the flesh hounds, but it, I looked at it out of the corner of my eye and it reminded me of the Lizardmen. Anyway, so obviously got lots of chains as usual. We got this awful looking weapon, which is a bunch of chains with hooks on the side of it. We got a sickle and a big meat cleaver thing. This is, as I, <laughs> this was the, that reveal, that teaser thing image, which we saw of the claw and the hand. So there they are running in on all fours. You got some more people here. I'd imagine these can be used to slaves to darkness. More of that chain weapon. And double meat cleavers. I'm calling them meat cleavers whether they are or not. Yeah, these look very aggressive close combat people. I would not want to be fighting them at all. Scroll down. This box set brings a bevy of new terrain. Fortified Gnarlikes and reinforced platforms broaden the landscape of possibilities in the Gnarlwood and let fighters who clamber on them pepper their foes with makeshift missiles. I kind of, I do like the aesthetic, the sort of bamboo scenery kind of thing going on. I do like it. Not enough to really purchase it though. I did say in a video a while ago that I might purchase some of the scenery, one of the big sort of dead dinosaur things. I never did get around to it. I do like this aesthetic, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm just not really sold enough on it to purchase it yet. My kind of fantasy scenery would be kind of a medieval destroyed town. That's my jam. That's what I would like to do in the future. However, I can see a lot of modeling opportunities with this, and this could very well be a great project for people. Blood Hunt contains a comprehensive warband tome, Predator and Prey. This details the law and rules for both warbands and brings flesh, ru <laughs> flesh rules fresh rules and scenarios to the fray. Head back to the Warhammer Preview Online Hub for all the other reveals. So that is the Warcry thingamajig for this release review at the LVO 2023. Who's hyped for this? Personally, for me, out of these two, I really like the aesthetic of the vampires. I don't really care for Warcry. 
I have played it before. It's just not really my, you know, it's not really for me. However, getting my hands on just the vampire warbands, I would enjoy painting them. So you'll see me paint them at some point, just not this particular box set. However, who is interested in this box set? I would love to know. And which out of these two warbands would, would you do you prefer? Yeah, that's all I got to say. Do make sure you checked out my newsletter, signed up for it. Uh, I will put a link in the top comment below. And while you're at this, do make sure you've liked, subscribed, and indeed hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the future videos. That's all I got to say. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Goodbye.